as you have seen all the dna polymerases they require a primer which has a free 3 prime hydroxyl group so uh, these dna polymerases they cannot initiate synthesis of new dna strand de novo they by themselves they cannot start synthesis then how they synthesize new strands so the to accomplish this the cell takes advantage of the ability of RNA polymerases to do what DNA polymerases cannot that is to start new RNA chains by themselves that is de novo synthesis of RNA chains primase primase is a specialized RNA polymerase that is dedicated to make short RNA primers about 5 to 10 nucleotide uh, length, length on a single stranded template DNA so when a single stranded template DNA is formed these two single stranded templates are formed so this uh, enzyme primase it can make a short RNA primer on this template these primers are then extended by DNA polymerase these are acted by the DNA polymerases and they extend the synthesis so here uh, you can uh, see uh, this is the replication fork and it moves towards this side these are two single stranded DNAs and this is primase and this red colored you can see this is a small RNA primer so this RNA primer is a compulsory requirement for the synthesis of new DNA strand both the leading and lagging strand though both these strands they require primase to initiate DNA synthesis both these require uh, uh, the synthesis of RNA primers each leading strand requires only single RNA primer as you know in the leading strand once the uh, addition of or the replication or the synthesis of DNA is started it continues until the replication fog reaches the end of the DNA molecule so only one RNA primer is uh, required at the leading strand while uh, on the other strand that is uh, lagging strand discontinuous synthesis uh, takes place which means that new primers are needed for each Okazaki fragment in this lagging strand uh, the new fragments are formed and for each fragment one primer is needed and uh, synthesis of lagging strand can require hundreds of Okazaki fragments and therefore they require hundreds of associated RNA primers primase activity is dramatically increased when it is associated with another protein that acts at the replication fork and this protein is called DNA helicase DNA helicase unwinds the DNA at the replication fork it uh, because you know uh, the uh, uh, DNA molecule is helically coiled so if this fork keeps on moving it requires that the uh, this uh, winding uh, should be unfold unwind so uh, it creates a, a, a single stranded template that can be acted by the primase so this uh, the presence of this uh, uh, enzyme DNA helicase it helps the DNA primase to synthesize new primers